hello guys hope you are doing good in today's uh, video we are going to learn about jenkins jenkins is basically a continuous integration and continuous delivery tool it's used for uh, development deployment and uh, automation of any your application uh, you can automate it once your development team push any changes you can deploy it uh, on the production servers as well as staging and development servers. You can also configure it to deploy on Docker containers and Kubernetes K8S engines etc. So let's start. We are going to install Jenkins on CentOS 7 or Red Hat. Both operating systems are using same command line. So let's start. I am going to follow this manual sysadminexpert.com. Uh, I will also share the link in the description of this video. So let's start. First of all, you need to install the OpenJDK 8 package on your server. So I have a fresh CentOS 7 machine. I am going to use it for the Jenkins installation. So let's start with the Java. Uh, first of all, I have to install OpenJDK. It's downloading the packages. After Java installation, we need to set up a Jenkins repository. So we will download the repository file and uh, save it in yum.repos.d so let's wait for the java It's done, so let's set up the Jenkins repository. It's downloading and uh, let's verify it. Unless the file exists, its main repository is imported. Now let's import its RPM key. It's also done. Now we are going to import. Uh, it's doing the verification. We already did. Now let's install the Jenkins. Simple command yum install Jenkins. After the installation, we need to configure uh, its start, stop, system CTL scripts. We will enable the service and start it. It's done. First of all, check its status, system CTL status Jenkins. It's dead. 
let's enable it now let's start the Jenkins first time it will take some time the Jenkins uh, will be using port 8080 so if the firewall is running on your system you need to add this port to the firewall so it started now let's verify the port telnet local host port 8080 it's up So let's check it on browser. My local IP address is 10.18. Let's access the Jenkins 17.16.10.18 colon So here is the startup page of Jenkins first of all we need to do some basic configurations to enable the Jenkins access so let's come on guide uh, I have disabled my firewall so there is no need to add the firewall rule let's proceed with the configurations so initial password uh, will be saved in this file so let's check the password sorry so here is the default password let's put it in the browser so here we need to select the default plugins we can go with the suggested as well uh, let's check for the available plugins if you need any customization you can enable the plugins here it's uh, build features like build timeout credentials building etc time stamper build tools and gradle node.js you can configure lot of extensions here as per your requirements its pipeline and continuously continuous delivery you can check whatever option you like to install let's go with the default uh, packages click on install and it will download the required packages from its repository so let's wait for the setup to complete after this we need to create admin user and uh, Jenkins will be ready in the meantime uh, let me explain you the Jenkins file directory structure so the data directory of Jenkins is in slash war lib Jenkins in this path Jenkins will store all of its configurations data and your 
projects workspace will also exist here and uh, if you are going to see the logs you need to go into war log and uh, here you will find the Jenkins directory it will store its log files here and uh, etc there are no configurations in etc all the configuration files exist in the war lake jenkins so let's go to the browser it's almost near So guys it's done now it's asking for us to create a new admin user so let's uh, name it admin admin set the strong password full name of the admin You can put your name as well. Then the email of admin admin at the rate example.com. Save and continue. Here it's showing the default URL. Save and finish. Start using Jenkins. Now guys, it's the dashboard of Jenkins. Uh, here are the uh, here are the default options. You can uh, create a new project uh, from here, new item. Then you can name it, name the project. Test you can select the project type. If it's a pipeline, Java, freestyle, whatever is the type of your project, you can define and configure it. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, hopefully in the next tutorial, I will uh, brief you about creating a new project. It's uh, CICD configurations automation etc. Thank you so much. Take care.